This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of a New Era application. I need to go and adjust that thing's priority to make it high, so it works faster. My opponent won't run paper, scissors, but then told me to go first. Fascinating. All right, well then, so in that case, we're gonna activate Brilliant Fusion and summon the Seraph Knight first, sending Wings and Garnet, because I have Scepter Sovereignty, which is fantastic. I'm playing this Herald deck again because uh, people seem to enjoy the last video to a certain degree. Zombie, yes. In fact, yes. Thank you for allowing me to zombie. Uh, but so I'm gonna draw two and hopefully draw into Toy Vendor or Gale Dogra. If I don't, I still have access into other things. I, I won't have access into my rank three. That's a Benton though. That's good. That's actually really good. Um, did I just say I won't have access into my rank three? Uh, I think I did. That's not the that's not the way this goes. Uh, I can make Deco Talker with these. So there's that. Hmm. I can make Deco Talker. I could. Do a few different things, but I didn't draw into the the Fluffle Wing or the the Toy Vendor, which kind of kind of sad. I wish Fluffle Bear was an Earth. Let's be real, uh, or wasn't Earth. If it was a Light, uh, it would be much more applicable to my cause. Uh, but I can search here. I can actually, hmm, I can actually keep the Benton. I could bring back the Wing, and I could Dawn of the Herald. Um, I could bring back the wing and then I could dawn of the herald away the seraph knight since I have already used my normal summon I could keep the benton in hand and then I could try to draw a card and that could be yeah I like this idea we're gonna wing this because it's still gonna allow us to draw a card so and it'll keep like a certain amount of it'll still keep at least one fairy in my hand <laughs> we're just gonna try and get lucky Sometimes you gotta be lucky to be good, right? That's the way this game works. Uh, is that I can make... Actually, I can make Decode Talker here. Oh, shit! Alright, this is just evolving into this weird nonsense. Uh, so we're gonna make Decode Talker. Right? Uh, and now, I st have still a normal summon. So I can normal summon another scepter that I'm gonna search right here. I'm gonna summon this in this zone uh, just because I want it <laughs> detached from the decode talker. I don't know why, actually. Probably should have put it in the far farthest right. Uh, but so this is gonna search for another scepter, which I can now normal summon. Ha <laughs> ha! We'll normal summon this, and then I will zombie yet again for the other chair. And then I will make my Ouroboros taking a card out of my opponent's hand and possibly zombieing again. Uh, let's see. We'll make these here. So the Ouroboros. The Ouroboros will destroy the Brilliant Fusion. I will draw my card. That's a Toy Vendor. Uh, 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 God! Toy Vendor now? Sadness. Alright, well at least next turn I just get to draw cards. Medolce! Oh shit! Well, this seems pretty easy, off the rip, potentially. Um, let's see. I'm. I don't have any way to trigger this during this turn. Sadness. But I do have two negates. <laughs> let's hope I don't get kaiju. Uh, that's literally the the motto. Is let, let's hope we don't get kaiju. Uh, now the thing is, is that, is that what we have access to. Um, with this deck is that people on the deck profile told me they don't like all or nothing decks that much and to be fair this isn't really that much of an all or nothing deck um, it's it's very much like all uh, or nothing in very in very uh, like varying instances but at the same time uh, it's not really that big of a of an issue outside of um, outside of like you can just have good middle ground openings uh, like this like, this is, a, like, a pretty decent middle ground opening. It just loses to, like, a kaiju. Um, that's the only thing that was a problem for this situation. But now, like, I'm just free to do literally anything that I want. Uh, because I've got access to another Herald. 
Uh, the toy vendor is going to add Fluffle Bear, which is then going to be rotated out for more draws. So now it's, at this point, the game is literally mine to win. There's no way that I see myself losing this game now. Especially since I have, like, Deco Talker as well. That's just being big for no reason. Uh, but so we can use this. We can do the Fluffle Wing thing. The only thing I don't want to draw here is the uh, is the other copy of Bear. Uh, that's a Gale Dogra. I get to put two... I get to put two more, um, two more things on the board. I can make Mrs. Radiant <laughs> if I wanted to. Uh, I could like summon this. I can summon this pay six, uh, and I'll be able to bring back a card. I can't bring back the Seraph Knight because it's not, it's not light. Never mind. I can't make Mrs. Radiant here, uh, not in the slightest. But I can just kill him. That is something that is very much on the order of business, is that I can just kill my opponent. So we'll do this, we'll summon this, summon it in attack mode, and then we'll use Dawn and Benton to get back to the Benton, and then search for something that's going to be a worthwhile normal summon, probably like the Scepter, maybe? I don't know. Um, I've got Ritual Sanctuary, which I can use to search, so I'll just get another Herald, honestly. We'll just drop, we'll casually drop three Herald. Uh, that seems pretty all right. Yeah? We'll, uh, we'll just do that, because I have the Gale Dogger, which can search the other card that I'm missing. So we will summon Gale Dogger. I should have summoned this here, that way I could do this. And, uh, my opponent is deciding to surrender straight out of the rip. So, I guess this is a really short duel video, then. I really don't want to do anything else. I, I really don't. I think that, I think I just want to keep it short and localized, because... If I try to if I try to go into another game, it'll just get messy. So, I guess this is it. <laughs> it's weird. I don't like it. I don't like this feeling that I'm feeling. But I am gonna cut it here. So I might do another video, another dual video that goes up today. I don't know. Haven't decided yet because I'm doing the thought process right now. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. This is a short one. So, like I said, might have another one going up today, or there's at least another video going up today. I don't know if it's gonna be a dual video or a discussion video, but regardless. Look out for one in the future of this, like, three-hour span of time. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you already haven't and want to see more amazing, awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. At least I think that my content's pretty all right. I, I mean, I may be not the right person to ask, but I mean, people seem to enjoy the content. I don't know. But anyway, links as always are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you really enjoyed the content and want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. There's also a monthly giveaway that I do every month from this point on for 10 packs of the most recent set. Just a random pick from anyone over there. So if you want to go check that out, then definitely go check out and see what may be there to be offered to you in terms of the reward tiers. But special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, and Yuki Phoenix, as well as all the other people who have been supporting me on Patreon this month, as always. A massive amount of thanks goes out to you guys. You have my eternal gratitude. You make this sort of stuff a lot more possible than it could be otherwise because of the amount of support that you allow me to basically delve time into doing things for the channel. So, again, greatest of thanks. But other than that, like I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And take care. I will see you in the next video.